Are we recording? Are we recording here? I will give that to you. To I, because all I can do is mess things up. Push the wrong button. Good evening, everyone present, and if you can view us at home, everyone viewing at home too. This is the January 8th, 2024 meeting of the Lunenburg Planning Board. It is 6.06 .06 p.m. This meeting is being recorded. Um, it was intended to also be broadcast on Zoom, but we have hit a technical issue that way for the second meeting in a row. Um, uh, yeah, but the, it's being recorded on Facebook, YouTube, public access TV, etc. And we will get through what we can get through tonight. We do not have our technical specialist, Mr. Harris, available either because of lack of Zoom. So we're going to see what we can do for you tonight. Um, thank you, everyone, for being in attendance. And public comment I'm just going to start I want to kind of start by saying and it was bored but I want to just point out the reason I'm having the meeting as opposed to postponing is because we do have two ANRs and um, I want to give us the opportunity to see something wrong if if there happens there's almost never something wrong with an ANR but because it, ANRs age out with that 21 and 21 day limit to an automatic endorsement. I'd like us to have the opportunity to view them. Um, otherwise, as board chair, I do not intend. Uh, well, yes, our agendas say uh, that Zoom is effectively a kindness to the public. There is an expectation. I will not be running a third meeting in a row without Zoom. And I'm making that clear to the board and making that clear to the public here and to the public if you're watching at home that if there's another Zoom issue next week uh, or not, not next week at our next meeting, I don't intend to open the meeting because there's a level of expectation the public has and I think it's important we meet that need. And might I also add Please. that we, we were also because of that lack uh, unable to uh, get our professional um, <coughs> direction from our uh, contractual land use from a, yeah from our land use contractor in term I don't know if he's an interim director whatever the technical term is from mr. Harris who knows his stuff just in time for public comment all right is there any other or any public comment all right seeing none wait wait I, wait, wait, wait. Mr. Rogers, any public? I'm sorry. <laughs> public comment? You, you almost missed I'm it. Here for the hearing. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Though. Thank you. All right. I'm, no, I understand. Um, all right. In that case, I'm going to move us on to our ANRs. Our first ANR is for Flynn Road. Thank you very much, members of the board. Greg Roy with Dillison Roy Civil Design Group, and I am here representing the Champagnes. Sorry if I butchered that last name. Uh, Dan, Champagne, thank you. Dan's here um, uh, with us this evening. Um, so you have an A&R plan before you, which creates a parcel uh, that's that's described as Parcel A on the A&R plan, which is 1,309 square feet, which is um, uh, right in between Flynn Road and Lake Shirley. Um, there was some surveying done by the um, abutting parcel to the, uh, to the applicants this evening. Um, their names are the uh, Apollonino's, Ap 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 excuse me for lack of, <laughs> I'm having hard trouble here. Apollonio. Apollonio, thank you. I just said it like three times in practice. Um, 
they own a total of 3.86 acres and actually own the parcel of land that is occupied by Flynn Road. So Flynn Road is a private road. Um, and as a result of some surveying that was done a number of years ago, it was discovered that our client's uh, shed, which has been there for many decades, over four decades, um, is actually on the abutting property. So they worked it out with the um, Apollinos um, to create and acquire um, and transfer a parcel that's just large enough to um, uh, for the existing shed and in the, in the structure there. So, <clears throat> like I said, the parcel in question is 1,309 square feet, and it would be deeded to uh, the Champagnes. Um, the Apollinos parcel is 3.86 acres, so it would be reduced by 1,300 square feet, so there'd be no issue relative to uh, lot area with that lot. And there's no change to the frontage. Uh, the frontage for the Apollina lot is on uh, Reservoir Road, which is um, 50 some odd feet, and there'll be no change to the frontage. So frontage and area have no impact on this um, on this application either. So that's it. I'm happy to take any questions. If you're looking at the plan, yeah, thank you. There's a on your screen. There's a at the bottom, kind of the middle of the plan. At the bottom is a blow up of the uh, of of the, the the parcel A that we're talking about because it's a little hard to see it on the on the um, overall plan view. <clears throat> and that is the A and R is converting that over to. Um, the Champagne's lot to the I'm assuming north is up on this map and I have no reason to think this yeah kind of to the uh, actually to the west uh, yeah I didn't yeah okay yeah. so west. okay cool so it's that's correct creating, creating parcel A which right now is owned by the Apollinos and would be conveying that to the Champagne's all right do we have any questions for Mr. Roy None from me. I don't have any. I, I do. Um, so th <clears throat> there's a large chunk that looked like the Apollino property fronts off a reservoir, right? Correct. And then so you're, you're, you're taking piece off of that property to add to the Champagne property? Correct. Yep. And the Champagne property fronts on a private road? The Champagne property fronts on Flynn Road, correct. Which? Which is private. And I'm not sure about the a and process, private versus public. Doesn't it need to be public? Uh, well, I think that would be a, a very interesting discussion if we were, before you, trying to create a brand new lot off of, a off of private road. Um, but in this case, we're not creating a buildable lot. We're just creating a parcel that would be deeded to a, to a, build, to a uh, already existing sure. lot with a structure on it. So I don't know that that really would apply. In this case, okay. But that it, those questions do come into play. If, you know, we've had applications, applicants that would like to drive frontage off uh, even a paper street with no improved road, and then you get into all kinds of legal questions. But I don't, I don't think we we have that situation here. It's it's just a land swap. The the frontage is not impacting at all for the mm -hmm. for the Champagne property because they're on. That, that's right. Work. Yeah. And it's if anything, it's it's making it more. Yeah, the Champagnes. I think would like, be. You'd, you'd, or you could argue you're making it more compliant. Sure. <clears throat> no, I, Which is nice to know, even though that do, by itself doesn't impact the... Right, and, and, and this is an amicable thing between neighbors. Yeah. Correct. So yeah, they worked it out. I, and they're, both, they're both signatures on the, uh, on sure. the Form A, so... Great. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions? Seeing none... Uh, we're not required to take public comment, but if there is public who wishes comment, I'd hear it. Again, seeing none. Um, great. Then I would accept a motion. I move that we endorse the ANR for Flynn Road as presented. I'll second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Thanks Thank very much. Thank you. Um, Are you stopping again tomorrow? Or?
what's uh, what is it? E well, is it? Uh, e do you? Uh, can you is it I no problem to grab it tomorrow? It's no problem to grab it tomorrow. Okay. Then I think that we should probably have that as a standard, mm -hmm. not given the mylar the night of the meeting. Okay. I think I mentioned that, but but again, that's a conversation to have at some yeah, later no, point. I, we can. You good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I like to make things easy for people, but especially close. especially when we don't have any professional guidance. Uh huh. All right. All right. Sounds Just want to plug that you. in. No, you're correct, sir. I am in not that not that it wouldn't made much difference, really, but. Um. Just let me call back up our agenda. Seven twenty-eight. Good. Because uh, there we go. I had that. Next on our agenda is an A and R for 728 Goodrich Street. Um, Richard yes. Harris is um, watching us on Facebook Live, and so if we have any questions, we can ask and he can give his input. And he can text in a response, and it'll come to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Good evening, Phil Colometta, 728 Goodrich Street. Uh, my engineer was going to be on Zoom tonight. I didn't realize it had technical difficulties. Not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, apology. No. You have, no, very seriously apologies yeah. about that. Yeah, I did. Accepted. Um, 728 Goodrich Street has enough frontage and uh, area to cut into two lots. One lot remaining. The lot one would be 90,000 square feet with 170, 107 feet of frontage. And uh, lot two would be 135,000 square feet with, I think, 161 plus or minus feet of frontage, uh, creating another lot for an A&R process. Um, okay. And so this is currently one lot being divided into two? Two, correct. On Goodrich Street. I'm giving a look-see at the plan as I have it on my screen. I see Lot one having 107.82 feet of frontage, and lot two having uh, 161.4 feet of frontage. I see lot one at 90,000, almost 91,000 square feet. Lot two at 135,000 and change square feet. And we have a topo map as well. I have a question for you that's outside of our <clears throat> purview, really. But what's the likelihood that you'll be able to <clears throat> use the one driveway existing for both lots? Have you thought of that? We've actually got a common driveway request oh. in the documents thank you yep thank you that looks like a nasty corner correct how uh, mr. Allison have you looked at the topo you have a better reading on topos than I yeah how steep is that like, like I'm just I'm trying to get an image for because it look my gut says that's so those are two-foot contours oh the two-foot contours okay it's less and it's going up to the house. The house is on the high point. The existing house is at the high point. Yeah. Um, so if they did come in on a common driveway and they separated, and again, new common driveway lot standards, we don't have to go along the lot line, which is good. Yeah. Right? So they can come right in and then follow a contour pretty much all the way the back to, to the back lot there where it's nice and flat. My, my bigger, because it's an A&R, my primary concern was if the frontage were real or illusory could because and now you mentioned that I was in my mind processing five foot contours without thinking and mm. that would make that a yeah they look pretty steep. dang big cliff sure. as opposed to right steep the question I would have is the existing septic and well the condition of it uh, the question where is the existing septic system in the well I mean they're, they're going to be so we redesigned a new septic system for lot one. Okay. And that was uh, approved or in process of being approval with um, the Board of Health. Okay, no impact to the well? No impact to the well, mm -hmm. no. 
And do we have... Uh, Which I do have the, the septic plan if you want to see that. Okay, no, no. Yeah. Let me, so, go ahead. In the ANR, what we look at is actually very limited. Um, so to endorse the ANR or not, we basically have to look at is the does the lot have appropriate frontage? Uh, I think that's almost entirely it. Lot area and frontage. And lo lo yeah, lot area and frontage. So you'll hear us asking some other questions. Accessibility. And um, what we're, it's when we talk about frontage, it's not just the linear frontage. Uh, it is about making sure it's real frontage. Again, because if there was a, a 25 foot cliff, sure, cliff yeah. um, that would change things and it's not really frontage, you can't use it. Um, but you're gonna hear us ask some other questions and the endorsement of the a &R is not contingent upon them, because legally it isn't. But uh, we also often ask questions to try to help prevent property owners from coming in and going through the process and then realizing, uh-oh, we made a mistake and that can screw everything up for you. Um, do, uh, do you know, again, uh, our response isn't contingent on this, but do you know if it was submitted to the Board of Health and you got a response? The new septic plan? No, just the ANRs go to the Board of Health. We have yeah. that submitted to the Board of Health. Yes, as it part is. Of it. Sorry, oh. I, didn't, I always forget to put the... No. That's fine. But yes, it was. Yep. Okay, great. Again, Board of Health's response doesn't change our result, but we have it so that you have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if the Board of Health was like, hey, whoa, for se other septic reasons or whatever, this isn't going to work, you're not setting yourself up for failure. Sure, I agree. Um, all right. The lots, and uh, as always, Mr. Harris, uh, I know you are watching on Facebook Live. If there is something you want us to know about any of this, please um, send the message in to you know, basically to hold on a sec and we will wait for your response as well if it's critical at all. Um, but lacking that, other questions for I, you? I do have a question for Mr. Harris if he, if he is going to respond. We require uh, a note on the, sub, on the A and R's and I'm not sure that this is what we require. Planning board endorsement does not constitute compliance with applicable zoning bylaws. I thought we had more than that, but but I don't know. Um, regardless, the only reason we ask you uh, redundant questions is so that you don't create your own hardship. You've got an engineer, I'm sure that they've explained to you all the processes and whatnot. So we're, we're basically trying to make sure that you don't create your own hardship. And it, it, it wouldn't be anything more than just having two lots and one wasn't buildable. But um, again, this doesn't necessarily guarantee you a buildable lot, but this does create the lot that you can forth further develop. Um. Great. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other questions from the board? In that case, I would look for a motion on the ANR for 728 Goodrich Street. Oh, Mr. Um, right oh. before you just say, uh, Richard Please. did say that the ANR is appropriate for endorsement and the statement is sufficient. Okay. Super. Thank Great. you, Richard. Thank you. I'd be looking for a motion. Uh, motion to endorse uh, ANR. Uh, for 728 oh, yeah, Goodrich Street. If, uh, just for the sake of thoroughness. Yes. Great. Thank you. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Was there a vote from you, Mr. Oh, sorry. Aye. Okay, great. In that case, all set. Uh, we have approved. We can sign the paperwork and everything later tonight. It'll be available in the planning office tomorrow, assuming that we have everything here. Sure. Great. Was there a discussion on the, the, the easement and the, the also piece of paper I submitted? Um, we have papers on. Oh, interesting. What's There's that? Mr. Allison's first comment on the common yeah. drive. So, that's for the ANR. Uh, oh, the com okay. For the common drive, is a separate thing. I don't see that on our agenda, but I would like to address that if we. Uh, there's three items. It's the third of the. Uh, 
you know, drive, right? Good rich streets. Right, but it's not on the agenda. Oh. Oh, sorry. I no, that's that's fine. Um, uh, I'm just it not being on the agenda. We really can't. We really can't move on it. Uh, where it's a new bylaw, I don't. I would. Um, No, this is this is or this is the running of a meeting. This yeah, got nothing to do with. Well, no. So, we can address topics that additional topics, but this is a full thing, a full application. So, right. But I mean, we can't discuss the plans that are submitted for it if it's not on the agenda. I guess is my point. I mean, we can verbally say that it's probably going to be fine, but I thought I submitted the easement plan and the paperwork at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, Richard did say that it needs to be on as a separate as a separate item. agenda item. Yep. So that was that was my yep. apologies. Um, so the uh, the planning office is working like many town government is part portions right now is working short staffed and we do have some of these hiccups. We can get that on our next agenda and make sure we can get that squared away for you. Is it, so I heard the word it's on a new bylaw now. Oh, what so is? because at special town meeting, the town approved uh, a new common driveway by, by law to actually make common driveways, frankly, easier. Sure. Um, uh, so at that point, do I have to go to a meeting? I believe we have. Uh, I believe we have all the paperwork we need from you, awesome. uh, from what I'm hearing, if it's been submitted, and it just didn't get filed correctly for the agenda. Every. Um, if we need something, can we? If we if we are missing something, can we reach out and let him know mm -hmm. so that we can make sure you're squared away and we can get you on the agenda for the next meeting for that common driveway aspect as well. Okay. So being on a bylaw, it still has to go through a meeting. I just, I, I'm just not from. Yeah. Meeting. Oh no. The the by the old common driveway rules were must split the lot line. Correct. But like we're very limited, and what we did is we. Uh, at the town through voting in the fall opened it up so there's more options for better common driveways so, so probably case in point this one yeah, yeah exactly yes is it worth just looking over and see if I have the um, discuss it I don't see why we can't look it over and just talk about can't, it can't deliberate I, um, Richard, can we not don't think what? we Sorry. Go ahead. No. Um, Richard also made note that uh, the bylaw has not been approved by the attorney general yet. Um, to my understanding, it is still in effect regardless. Okay. That's what they talked about a citizen planner. He is an actual planner, not a citizen planner, so he may. I'm speaking from what I was told. Oh. Uh, but. Okay. Now, does that mean we can't discuss with the. No, we can't really. Huh. I just want to see if I'm going to in the right direction you guys talking like and have all the paperwork it sounds like we really to err on the side of caution we shouldn't be talking with each other about it so we really shouldn't discuss it tonight I apologize about that I'm not looking to make your life harder Fine. Um, the what we can do is um, make sure that we can send you the if because the new bylaw if it's not up on the town website do we know if it's posted by it should be posted by the town regardless because attorney general is an after the fact thing um give me i'm not sure i'm just seeing if the new bylaw is up on the town website which would be I wish would make it easier. And Richard also said he does not recommend discussing it. Yeah, so no. Um, the new, I can't get it right now in the context of the meeting. The new uh, common I'll driveway bylaw yep. should be, to my understanding, updated on the website. Okay. If it isn't, if it talks about splitting lot lines as mandatory, then reach out to the planning office and we can make sure that we get you a copy of the updated bylaw. Awesome. Okay. But again, it's overall very straightforward. It is meant to be more like it spells things out more clearly 
and has uh, basically is meant to make it a better process for you in the long run. Would I be seen in the next meeting? Uh, that our goal would be to see that the next meeting, yes. I can't think of why that wouldn't be the case. Okay. I just didn't know what paperwork I need to do. Uh, I don't think, do we have additional paperwork for common driveway apps? So, no, right now you're all, you should be all set and we'll reach out if we are missing something. Okay, it just didn't go on the agenda for tonight. Yeah, no, it was, everything was submitted in one packet because yeah. we're working short staff, the two pieces didn't get parsed out gotcha. into separate items, that's all. Okay, I, yeah. I have a question. Is Mr. Barry your, your, your engineer? Yes, and he's okay. in the Dominican right now. Um, and, I'm, and I'm looking at this letter submitted by Alfred Barry on uh, June 24th. Yes. So that was before a bylaw changed, oh. and, and I know Mr. Barry, and, and, and I would be happy if you wanted to reach out to me so that I could certainly get him a copy of the new bylaw. Awesome. Um, he's, he's fun to work with, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this obviously is not something that was on the radar. Uh, it was June 24th, yeah. Right. Okay, then that wouldn't have been up to date, yeah. Yeah, we had, we had done this paperwork and the research and all that stuff, and then we had to redesign for the Board of Health Got to it. submit this, so it kind of took some time. Okay, and then, like Mr. Allison said, uh, Mr. Barry is welcome to reach out to him to make sure that he has all the updated info from the town, because we lay it all out much more clearly than we used to, um, and that will benefit you in the, I mean, it gives more options, but it also lays out requirements for safety and everything that are intentionally not big yep. but just make sure the fire like the fire department can get where they need to go and everything yeah great okay so uh my apologies for the technical issues but thank you for coming tonight so tomorrow just come down and tomorrow and get the yep a and r and then just make sure all my paperwork's good for next meeting that assuming we have all the paperwork here tonight and everything's totally fine we we can sign it tonight and you'll be good fantastic. feel free to call the planning office before you show up to make sure fantastic that I, I, speaking on your behalf that shouldn't be an issue should it or no it shouldn't be an issue i know um richard did mention that the new bylaw bylaw indicates a special permit is required oh so it is a special permit okay for that's right thank you there will be a, an additional process for applying then. It's a special permit process. Um, you can have your engineer reach out to Mr. Allison. He can send along the bylaw. And then we can make sure that you have that. I mean, that will spell out what's needed. Yeah, I think in general terms, we, we have an existing driveway on a nice part of the turn on Good Retreat. Mm -hmm. We're looking just to get an easement from that driveway for 50 feet instead of putting in a single driveway for the lot two. The old bylaw did not allow that. In the new one, the new one does. In general, does yeah. I can't say it does yeah, right. in this specific, but in general, the new bylaw exists so that okay. things like this can't yeah. happen. Okay, we'll see you soon. Great, great. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Never a dull night in town government, right? Okay. Next on our agenda is revision to erosion control plan. Seven, uh, 274 Prospect Street. Do we have anyone here for 274 Pro Prospect Street? I bet they were planning on zooming in too. I bet they were. Yeah. Um, and if y'all are watching at home uh, on Facebook, wishing you were on Zoom again, you have our, you have our sincere apologies. Um, so it is my intent to move over that and address it in the future if we get messaging otherwise from mr harris that there's some reason we should that's fine otherwise we'll just be pushing it along to next um we have two continued public hearings scheduled for tonight for 171 arbor street and 255 sunny hill road do we have representatives from either of those projects in the room tonight uh can I remind you that we got a withdrawal for 171? Oh, it was 171 with the one that was withdrawn? My mistake. Nope. Thank you. Um, yeah, we do have that letter, and that was a... I'm looking for that letter in our... Um, Mr. Harris, while he's looking for that, I want to question you uh, about uh, with prejudice without prejudice does it matter in this case uh, since they're asking 
to withdraw. I understand that withdrawal without prejudice, if we don't specify it, then they can reapply in a shorter time frame. Whereas if we do it with prejudice, they have a, a longer, I, I don't see any need for a longer period, but I'm just questioning, do we need to specify without prejudice when we make this motion? I said without prejudice. Specifically, okay. Okay, I am So we did receive in our email uh, this evening uh, a note from Mr. Harris letting us know that, yep, they are seeking to withdraw the definitive plan for 171 Arbor Street, and we would need to vote to accept the withdrawal at tonight's meeting. Um, great. Do we have any discussion on that? Seeing none, uh, public comment about the withdrawal for 171 Arbor Street. Hearing none, I would look for a motion. Uh, motion to accept withdrawal of uh, 171 uh, Arbor Street. Mm -hmm. Definitive subdivision plan without prejudice. Uh, yes, the definitive uh, subdivision plan without prejudice. I will second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 There we go. It has been withdrawn. I'm assuming that counts as cl closing the public hearing because... Uh, we didn't reopen it Reop tonight. I guess we didn't, yeah. But it is a continuance. And I'm not sure we ever actually did open it to begin oh with. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, did we ever actually... I don't, I don't think, think 171 ever showed up. No. They've been continuing. Well, so I'm going to say... Mr. Harris is going to chime in if we've screwed <laughs> things up. Thank you, Richard. I very much appreciate it. I don't think, I don't think we've ever opened Arbor Street. No. So, we have, except we have uh, happily. We've talked. I mean, about happily, just as a word. I don't want to imply any thoughts there of my own. Um, but we have voted. It is withdrawn. Off. Oof. Our radar for now. Till it returns. All right. So. Uh, we have no representatives of uh, 255 Sunny Hill Road present. Um, it is uh, it has been recommended to me by Mr. Harris that we would uh, can just continue it to a date and time certain. And I guess we'll do it to our next meeting I mean that'd be my recommendation but is that us or is it like required on them since they didn't come to this meeting to like tell us when they're gonna come they're actually gonna show up it's just part of the public hearing process okay. yeah this is a, this is just what we have to do um, we enough. could put it further out but again they may have intended on being here by zoom sure. we have no way of knowing so Although there's been a lot of cancellations, uh, well, not uh, postponements mm -hmm. on this, in this specific instance, uh, I cannot say that they wouldn't be here. I don't know. Sure. We have no way of knowing. Okay. So we would have to continue um, the public hearing for 255 Sunny Hill Road Stormwater Management Plan to a date and time certain say uh when is our next meeting 22. 22nd. on january 22nd at 6 5 p.m would always be a good time so moved second moved and seconded all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. all right that has been continued sorry folks it's fine <coughs> i have to go back home and Supervised Karen is shoveling, so I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's supervised. Um, <coughs> apologies, everybody. With I'm just flipping through several kind of.
tabs at once for all of my notes and everything because tonight's a little more chaotic than we expect expected. Um, these, I believe, I'm going to look at our agenda. We have nothing under board discussions or minutes approval. Um, committee reports. Was board dis uh, committee? Uh, what was happening with our uh, research regarding what were we doing? Scenic roads and something else. You and I were doing scenic, scenic roads, roads, and yeah. these two were doing the solar. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can. Ms. Reed and I have not made progress on that okay. yet, other than saying, "Hey, we got to do this," and we'll start working on that shortly. Sure. Um, for committee reports, I would rather than going through the whole list, I would rather save those updates for when we're available by Zoom to the public. But what I would ask is if there's anything critical for the board to know tonight, I would ask for those to be shared out. I, I would just like to say MRPC, we met last week on Thursday and they did um, propose an idea of where if towns were missing non-educational municipal help, so any open positions not involved in educational positions, they were trying to figure a way where they could hire one person to cover multiple towns. So if, you know, Shirley and Lunenburg were in need of somebody in a certain respect to help, they could share the cost through MRPC. So I don't know if that's, I know they're going to reach out to the town. I'm not sure who, if, it, if it's going to the town manager or whom, you know, who, who normally handles that. But I felt with. Do you have any documentation on that at all? Um, I could probably find the minutes on MRPC. Then that's probably enough. Then I don't think we need that level, but if mm -hmm. there was like a, hey, we're doing like a... They didn't mention anything specific. They did say they were going to reach out to the town management, whomever deals with MRPC. So then, I can check my emails tonight, and if I do find something, I can send it over to you, but... Please do, but only if it's like, here's what's happening. Sure. Don't feel the need to dive into minutes, okay. because they should, in theory, be providing that to uh, Ms. Lemieux, mm -hmm. and I suspect I'll be in discussion with people in town government over the coming weeks anyway. Okay. So if I may I'd like to back up to the to the two subcommittees we got going. Um, my intention was to have done it already, but we have the ability to create uh, quick access uh, data groups on our mm -hmm. um, so what I was gonna do was create one and share it with share it with my partner and you guys can create one and share it amongst you two. Yep. And then when it comes to the meetings, we can bring all that data together and talk amongst ourselves. That makes a lot of um, sense. I mean, because there's a lot of background. There's a lot of, like mm -hmm. the Concord, yeah. the Amherst, like just having them all in one spot uh, to be able to communicate between the subcommittees and then and then at the meetings have that data available. Um, and and I, I don't see any reason not to share it with all the membership just as long as we don't dis deliberate outside of a meeting or would you rather not i would rather n i would rather not until we confirm Good. that's okay sure mm -hmm. i believe that should be fine but i would feel better keeping that line a little more stark until sure um all right the i'm looking for just Oh, I think it doesn't matter. We'll be able to talk about it at the next meeting, so I'm not going to call that mission. I don't have it here anyway. Okay, great. In that case, um, one more thing on committee reports. Yes, please. Since we do have two new uh, ad hoc subcommittees, we might want to add those two reports to our committee reports. I think that makes... Can we add that to committee reports or? Um. Or we mean, may, may, maybe just subgroup committee, I don't know. Let's put, uh, we can even put that under board discussions. Okay, Perfect. yep. So could we add um, the 
um, oh golly, I need help. The Solar By Law Subcommittee and the Scenic Road. Scenic Road, thank you. I'm like, no problem. No. Roads, pretty trees, <laughs> yay. Commit, thank you. No, the I don't. Roads program. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it needs to say so, but they're ad hoc, which I think means just for that one specific thing. I don't know. Doesn't hurt to put it in. I don't know. Okay. Um, I know. Uh, backing up just a little bit, Richard uh, sent a message saying, "Looking at the online code of Lunenburg, the zoning amendment is not incorporated." Okay. All right. That is also good to know. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Harris, that is, I, yeah, th this is a discussion I can, that it doesn't have to apply right now for how some of that filters down, because I know what they said at Citizen Planner, but we'll see. Um, okay, is there anything else from committee reports that absolutely needs to go on right now? Great, then I am going to uh, meeting schedule. For those of you watching at home, uh, all of our board meetings are hat held at town hall unless otherwise indicated. Um, as I have already said that if we are have at the next meeting, if we have Zoom on our agenda and we can't get into Zoom or something, it doesn't work, I do not intend to open that meeting. But if Zoom isn't on the agenda, then that's a different beast. Um, and why would we do that? Well, at least then we're being honest, right? We can just be clear that we're, Zoom participation is not a thing. I'd rather it were, but... We're not being dishonest, for sure. We're, All right. And our next two meetings are January... 22? 22nd and February 14th. Uh, 14th. Ooh. Are you sure? I'm seeing Feb 12. You know what? We're going to look right now. Since 12th, uh, I'm sorry. That's right. February 12th? <laughs> yep. January 22nd. How exciting. 14th is the ZBA meeting. Ooh. I, I if you are looking for a romantic at night with your significant <laughs> other, let me tell you. Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, I, got, I got nothing there, actually. All right. <laughs> Um, the appealing. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. Okay. Ongoing items. I don't see anything, again, that is mission critical. I will turn and ask for public comment. And since there is no public in the room, um, I would move on to board comment concerns. Does receiving a letter count as public comment? We received a letter from Susan Whalen regarding our scenic road uh, uh, conversation last meeting we are not required to read letters into um into uh into the minutes or anything that uh because it was just feedback after the fact yeah. um the board did receive feedback from a member of the community with uh thoughts on the scenic road application we handled last time and um Again, we are looking at at making a scenic road by law to take care of many issues. And for anybody else who might be watching, um, the I found the letter uh, valuable, and it's added to the research that I'm doing for a scenic roads. So if you have those thoughts, those ideas, please share them with us. It only makes things better. Yeah. Uh, in general, to the public, do reach out. That's why the board exists. Um, okay. I'd like to comment. Thank you, Mr. Wilsner, for, for bringing that up. Um, I was supposed to, and I totally slipped my mind. <laughs> no worries. Um, I, think it, I think that it would be more than appropriate to read that into the record uh, at our next meeting when, when it's televised and, and, and whatnot. Um, but I, I do think, and, and of course she's my neighbor and we've had conversations about it, I think it's something valuable to take into consideration when we bring our individual back to the board. Yeah, and absolutely. I think that would be the ideal time to read it into the record. Sure. Or whenever, but, um, but thank you again for bringing that up. All right, so with that, any other board comment? 
Um, I'm not sure how far I went about it last time, if I went at all, but um, we've got a 40R zoning, which is very similar to the 40B zoning, but it's it's something that the town works with a developer to produce something that benefits the town rather than the developer. Well, I mean, the developer does benefit too. Of course, right. But yes, yes. it is not one-sided necessarily. So, so specifically, we've, we've got a 40-yard zone and it is built out completely. Uh, it is it has gone its course and it is finished. The Tritown, Tritown um, development there was our 40-yard. Um, and I think it would be prudent, uh, especially given some conversations that have been had at the select board about land management and land use and land oversight. Uh, I think that we should be looking at some of these larger parcels at potential future build out. Um, and specifically for senior and or age restricted housing. Um, right now, there's a lot of money on the table at the state level and the federal level. I've seen matching grants uh, up upwards of 50%. I've seen some of them that are coming close to 75% match. Um, so <laughs> just to put it in perspective, the current 40B on the table right now, O'Brien's, 200 units. His, his binder suggested it would cost him $40 million to build 200 units. And if we could get $10 million in 75% matching grants, then <clears throat> that would cost us a whole lot less. And I, I just, if we don't start looking at it, we're never going to see it. Mm -hmm. That's that's my my pitch right there. I think that we start need to start looking at taking care of our our aging community. Um, I think that the uh, as time goes on, we're going to have more and more aging seniors um, in town just because of the nature of the population growth that we've had in the last 50 to 100 years. So. Um, I think that we should start reaching out, and, and I, <coughs> excuse me, I have already uh, mentioned some things and, and doing some looking into to, to, to see if there's consensus for specific or not. Um, but I just wanted to bring that to the board's attention. All right. <coughs> excuse Thank me. you, Mr. Allison. All right. Seeing nothing else, I would... Uh, accept a motion to close this meeting I to move. adjourn I suppose <clears throat> I move that we adjourn a second moved and seconded all in favor aye 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 friends at home thank you for joining us and we're going to do what we can to get these tech issues out of the way and if we can't we'll stop telling you there's going to be a zoo uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful night.